Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I'm going to teach you on how to create this wonderful painting. So in this tutorial, I am going to teach you on how to paint a pumpkin and with a straw hat. So this will be a Halloween um, special painting tutorial. Okay. So, but before that, I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use in this um, lesson. So I still be using limited colors in my palette, and I will be using. Um, the Tanium White, the Tallow Blue, the Brilliant Red, the Medium Yellow, and the Raw Umber. So, Raw Umber, guys, um, is way different. It's way darker than Burnt Umber, and I will recommend also this color. And you can still use um, Burnt Umber, guys. That's also good. And also, you can use the Burnt Shana, but um, if you're using Burnt Shana, guys, you need to mix it with Blue and Red to make it darker to make it look like black but using the raw umber and burnt burnt umber you can only use blue to make it dark or look like um, black or something like that okay so I am using limited colors guys because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay and these are my brushes so I'll be using four brushes only and I have here the number 11 nylon flat brush number 8 nylon flat brush number 6 um, nylon flat brush with handled and number 2 um, nylon flat brush short handled you can also use a smaller brush guys like number 1 zero, double zero, triple zeros for a finer details okay and this is my canvas guys it's 10 by 8 inches, it's a streak of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made the canvas myself, and of course, we need water so that uh, we this will be a medium for our painting or our, for our paint with the acrylic. And I have here um, water spray, guys, if you're gonna need uh, to make our our um canvas wet and so that we can have a better blendings okay so I think I'm going to start now I'm going to start with the sketching using the paints and yeah and then the, gonna do the backgrounds and adding the details in the future or yeah and something like that okay so let's start by using this um, burnt umber guys no, I mean raw umber. Sorry. So first, I'm gonna do the draw the pumpkin. Which is gonna paint a circle, just circle, guys. Let's make it make it a little oblong or something like that. There. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy tutorial guys and as actually um, you so many um, pumpkin tutorials on on the on YouTube like um, Halloween pumpkin or Jack o lantern or something like that so this time I'm going to make it uh, re uh, more, more realistic or um, yeah as really realistic as possible as I could okay so I'm going to draw the draw the the eyes later, guys. And the eyes should be something like this, but I'm gonna do the background colors first. And maybe I'm gonna do the sketching of the of the D 
details later he's so smiling or something <laughs> okay so I'm going to paint the straw hat so let's gonna do the this part first the head part of the straw hat something like this that's gonna be a big so hot guys so it will um, go out into the to the canvas yeah okay so we have now the sketch and next we're gonna do the I think this will be the eyes guys so maybe we should just do something like this on the eyes and the nose and the and the mouth yeah okay so we have now the sketch and next step would be the background colors so maybe we should erase here this first with some water I just wet your just wet your um, brush guys with water then just erase this one a little so that it won't um, actually guys if it's, it will become dry it will be hard for us to, to erase this or to cover it with paints especially the light colors yeah like yellows orange or something like that it will be transparent um, but if you are using um, everybody acrylic paints that will be a lot easier to cover some areas or some mistakes okay so I'm going to use the yellow and the red let's kind of mix for an orange color so this will be an orange guys and let's kind of paint some orange on our pumpkin it's gonna be hard guys because orange is really um, transparent col colors so it will be hard for us to to cover it with orange paints that's why I'm painting it first guys because I will let it dry first before we're gonna start more coats or more layers later there so it's not that hard but yeah just try it okay so we have now the the first coat which is the the background colors okay next will be the color of the hat which is the brown so I'm going to use this brown a raw umber color brown and some white so as you see guys it will become gray yes when we when we add white that's why it's really close to black and we're gonna need to use the yellow and red to make it more light brown or something there and some red so we have now the brown and some white to make it light brown more yellow there and this will be very very opaque in color so again guys we are doing the we are painting the background colors first and we need to let it try that's why I'm, I'm painting it first because um, to to let it try first before adding more details. So I'm gonna use this burn a raw umber here to have the darker part of the hat straw hat with some lighter color. Here. 
Yeah, it's very cute. It's just like um something like uh the hat of the soldiers guys. Soldiers or some Japanese soldiers. Yeah, it looks like that. But I thought it like that. Okay then I'm gonna do the background so I'm gonna use some blue color here. There. Um, I'm thinking of some colorful backgrounds but of course I'm, I'll do the first coats first. Some reds there. I want a dark colorful background guys. blue and red to make some purple there some blue Okay, so all you need to do guys is just fill the colors, fill the backgrounds. I'm gonna add some greenish background guys, so here. I'm gonna make this part a little greenish with some burnt uh, raw umbers. And of course some blue color. Because I want to separate this part. Green, some burnt umber, burnt umber here. Oh no, raw umber. I'm sorry. I'm always confused with um, raw umber or burnt umber, guys. Some lighter color here. More burnt umber here. Okay, here also. So, just fill the background colors, guys, with some dark colors. Okay, that's it. So, you have now the first step this is the adding the background colors. Okay, now I'm going to, to retouch the face of the pumpkin. So, let's mix for. I'm going to, to add some shades here, guys on this part because I'm gonna make it a little a more a way realistic okay. so I'm going to use this burnt raw umber 
red and yellow to make some um, dark orange or it's a brown actually guys to here make this part dark there I'll be putting a light coming from the top guys but I'm, 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 I'm going to make the, the eyes of the pumpkin glowing So just blend the colors. All you have to do is just blend the colors here. Now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna add a little highlights on the face. So I'll be using this again. With some red, the yellow, and the red, and white. There and some yellow. There, so I've got an orange. So we're gonna need some more red and yellow there. Okay. Now I'm going to try to retouch the hat guys, the straw hat. So I'm gonna need to use this color here with some yellow and red. Yeah, same like light brown. Yeah. I'll just use the existing colors here guys. Going to add some yellow and red. Let's gonna retouch this part. Make it as better as possible. So again, guess the highlight should be on top because, as you see, the light is coming from the top. Okay, let's add more white here. Let's make this part lighter. Yeah. And 
also here. some white and let's more add more highlights here okay so I'm just adding more highlights guys and that's all you need to do there okay then okay, I'm going to use some burnt umber again no burnt uh, raw umber I mean guys sorry here it's gonna put more dark sh darker shades here. That's it. So just blend, guys. Just blend it slowly and with a little careful. There. shades here there darker shades and here a little yeah that's it and using the same brush guys I'm going to add some dots some details like this that's yeah to look like um that's so hot details guys so so just add some more dots like this So just add more dots guys to create more details on the straw hat. There. That's it, I'm going to use some white more white here uh, let's add more dots here to add more details on the on the straw hat or dots or uh, punching technique guys it's still a punching technique or tapping So here Okay. Yeah. And I'll be using this uh, um, brush, guys. It is uh, smaller. The number six nylon flat brush, and I'm gonna use some white and mix it with existing colors here. And let's add more details. Again, guys, just use some dots. Yeah. 
้าเจ็ดโอเคมาลองสนตับAnd we're going to put a little dark details, guys. On here. There. There. Some irregular details on the, on the hat. On the side of the hat, guys. So just put it something like this. It's an old straw hat guy. That's why it looks like that. Okay. What that? Also just more details, just more dots or topping technique here. Okay. How about that. And I'll be using some more a little orange color guys here. Red and yellow. And mix it with this color here, the light brown. And let's make this part lighter there. to add some transpar transparency of the bottom guys of the hat so as you observe guys this will be lights our light is coming from the top so this we're gonna put a little um, transparency here uh, that's what I call it, guys I do not know what you really call this uh, effect And also this one, this part here. There. Okay. I want more. And add white to make it lighter. yeah it looks like um, transparent now and next we're gonna proceed with the details of the face so I think I'm going to add more dark guys so I'm gonna use this raw umber here to make this part dark or darker and this part also a little dark tones Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna make that a little reddish. Sorry guys, I think I have it's a wrong idea. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little reddish color. To make it more transparent, this hat guys. So I think I'm gonna make it a little reddish. Yeah, maybe I'll just retouch that part when it dries. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So I'll be using wait, guys. I'm going to use some white here. Mix it with the. Uh, existing light orange I'm going to add some yellow there and let's add it here guys this will create a very bright And here, of course, it's a triangle. This pumpkin, guys, or jack o lantern has a triangle nose. I'm taking me to put some, I'm going to use this burnt chain here. I burnt a raw umber with some red or brown. Yeah, brown. I'm going to put some teeth. There. And I'm using this same color here. Okay, of course, I'm going to add some white. There. Okay, and pure yellow, guys. Yeah, which is the light coming from the inside. Okay, pure yellow and white with red. So it will look like the eyes is glowing. Yeah. Okay. And I think before I forgot, I should add some details on the face so red yellow or just make some dark brown guys I'm going to add some 
raw amber on the on the red and yellow and let's put some lines guys on the face of here this will be the lines guys of the pumpkin you need to shade it a little so here let's just shade the line a little guys just a little shadings just plain it So I'll be using some yellow here, some red, more yellow, and white, there. I'm going to add some more highlights. Highlights here. And also here. There. And I'm gonna make this lighter. That's it. And I'm gonna mix for another orange, guys, here. Just to blend this part. I'm gonna need to blend this part there. I'm gonna need to have a very nice blending here. Here. Oh, again guys, if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing. And just enjoy every moment, guys, while you are painting. Another orange color with some yellow. There. So just continue blending guys and adding more details. Hopefully guys um the hard part of using the orange gold and yellow is that I am using um a student with acrylics and the colors are very transparent. It's not opaque and it's actually hard to use. Hard to hard to create a dark tones. So guys, if you are using heavy body, so that will be better than this one, better than this color. So, so, yeah. And if you're using this color, guys, you need to add more coats, coats between coats. So I'll be using some raw amber here, and red, and yellow there. So it's just a dark brown guys. I'm gonna make this part darker.
guys if you are if you want to create better blending guys you can use the spray guys to create a better blendings there and I'll be using again this color here to create more sharp details on the eyes Okay guys, more blendings to mix for another orange colors here and of course here so I just blend the colors until it will satisfy yourself there and it's plain also here Another blending here. So again, guys, if you are painting with me now, just follow what I'm doing. And again, guys, do not forget to enjoy while you are painting. Do not stress yourself. If ever you didn't get it at first, then hopefully you can do it many times. It's not always um, easy, guys, especially for the beginners. You need to practice more. this part darker okay okay and burnt, burnt umber with yellow and raw umber I mean and red So I'll just retouch more guys. Okay. Yeah. I think that looks realistic now guys. I like the shadings. Yeah. And also the highlights. Okay, so I'm going to add some more highlights here guys, some more details. I'm going to add some dried I'm going to add some dried um, plants here 
or something like that but I think I'm gonna make the background for background colors first darker so I'm gonna use some blue color some red and let's make some purple here dark purples Actually guys you can use any color as long as it will be dark that will be good I'm going to add some red here There I have some red And blue to make it purple I'm gonna use some blue. Oh no, I'm gonna red here on this part. Okay. I'm going to add some blue here. Just blend the colors. And some blue guys with white or light blue. So let's put some light blue here. So we can just blend the colors. All you have to do is just blend. Yeah, that's it. Some purple here in the center. Yeah, I like the very color colorful um, background, guys. <laughs> so let's use the part a row umber here with some black, oh, with some blue to make it dark black or look like black. There. So if you want to make dark colors, guys, you can use. You can just um, mix the the burn a raw umber with a blue color to make it dark Okay, and here. And 
also here just making the paint solid guys okay and then I'm gonna use this brush to add some um, to call this um, um, dried grass on the on this part here so I'll be using the burnt the raw amber with some yellow and red and just mix it here with the existing uh, brown color and let's put some grasses here there so just make it um, some auricular guys I'll just create some auricular strokes there Okay. And we're gonna need more yellow and red and white. More white guys there. To create a lighter color. There. I like it. So you can create different strokes guys as long as small you can just use a small brush guys if you have I am using the number number six nylon flat brush there it looks like um the it's like jack o' lantern guys is on the nest You can use this color here, which is more orange with some white. Some more white here. There. Some more white. There. guys so I think I am done guys with my simple 
painting demonstration on how to paint this pumpkin here and I think guys I'll have the result I like the result guys it's, uh, it's what it look like yeah, I think realistic something like that okay so I hope you are you learned something out of this tutorial guys and you're enjoying while watching this video and if you're painting with me now just follow everything I did in this video guys and good luck while you're painting just enjoy the moment you're painting have fun and just paint yeah and please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and my advice guys is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you know how to use the colors that's why i'm using the colors in my palette because i want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want okay guys thank you very much have a nice day and god bless you all